community is a big thing for all press. These guys are all in some way part of the all press community, but they're going to tell us a little bit about theirs. So we've got Ben Monroe, who's a business development manager for a really iconic surfboard um, maker called um, McTavish that's based in Byron Bay. Um, we've got Beck Dwyer, who um, is the editor of a sustainable fashion and lifestyle magazine called Peppermint. And Tristan Greer, who is, is the founder of Sparrow Coffee, and uh, an amazing farm-to-table restaurant called Harvest in Byron, which is really impressive. One of the things that attracted to me to Orpris um, right at the very start was your culture. And I think culture and community kind of are exactly the same thing, but internally. And I, I still don't know how you managed to spread that out over the whole world. As far as an interesting one, because we just serve a, an actual, like a purpose for people, like it's a part of a ritual and we do one thing and it's coffee. Um, uh, we have sort of four KPIs, I suppose, which is speed, friendliness, consistency and quality. And it's this group of people that just come out of the woodworks every morning without fail. And, um, you know, we don't live in these houses that have extended families where, you know, we have our own acre and we, it's ours and there's fences and, you know, and we live quite insular as far as, I suppose, Western uh, people. And um, we do have one thing though, and that's coffee. And that is that coming out of the woodworks and seeing people and actually having an exchange and, and interaction, a, a, a moment in the morning. Um, reading a magazine is a very solo activity. You buy it, you're at home by yourself, and you go offline and it's all very lovely. But for us and for other people, I think we all spend so much time behind our screens these days. Um, so we decided to run a series of events called Pep Talks. Um, the premise of which was basically getting some people, it was bringing the pages of Peppermint magazine to life um, and getting some inspirational people to stand up and just share their story. Ben, you've, you've got a cafe space in your, in your surfboard space. What role does coffee play? You have to host people. If you are taking a location like this, which is out of um, you know, high traffic footpath, you have to create a place in which um, people want to make an effort to, to, to go to that destination. And for us, straight away, we had this beautiful factory with all the, you know, the, the lovely way in which the surfboards had made, but we needed sort of that front of house. Um, you present them with, you know, a glass of water when they enter, you offer them a coffee, um, you show them a beautiful space, you make them feel at home. And so for me, um, the retail space and the coffee are one. They're not just cafe and, and then we've, we're selling some apparel and surfboards. Um, but it's one full sort of, you know, beautiful, interacting, um, welcoming place. And so the community of coming to the shop in the morning and be able to have a coffee and talk about surf and talk about other things in life in a really lo lovely environment are essential to us um, hosting those people and, and to building that community. Uh, from an outsider's perspective, one of the advantages of running a magazine seems that you don't actually have to meet your customers. Um, yet, <laughs> you seem to go out of your way uh, to meet them. It was amazing for us to step up from behind the screen and make real eye contact with people. And also, we actually discovered that as well as coming along to see us and to see the speakers, we were really just facilitating an event where they could meet up with each other, you know, have a coffee, have to make some real connections and just meet people who are interested in similar things. And it was very powerful. Everyone lives movie-style lives via their Facebook these days, but in reality, I think you know, the true sense of digital community is just a, a replication of what we physically live in the day-to-day -day space. I very much feel like um, our community that we're growing um, is kind of like the, you know, canary in the coal mine. If it falls over, we know we're doing something wrong. But if we do something wrong, we know that that community will give us a chance and they'll tell us. Um, so it is incredibly valued to us as a, as a, as a business as well as we just love having people around, you know, surf. If you, can't, if you don't fake it and the product is exactly what it is when they turn up, then it's not a problem with, with, with dropping dopamine on people 